Good morning, December 30th, 2018. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. The year will end and a new one will begin. It's always good to have a fresh start, even in the dead of winter, although it's going to be 50 again tomorrow here in Ohio. Nonetheless, what am I going to talk about today? Well, we reflect on the year past as we reflect on many things. And today I want to talk about double reflection of self. In philosophy, you see the self brought up time and again. Kierkegaard was probably the first one, known as the first existentialist, Soren Abai Kierkegaard, the first existentialist. His thinking was the self is most important, especially over the group and that knowing the self is his highest importance. And Kierkegaard, as I've said, was a Lutheran minister, had a woman, Regina Olson, in love with him for seven years, and he denied her in the end and said he could not serve two masters, woman and God. And he died in his early 30s, mainly of heartbreak. And that's that two-volume set over 1,200 pages long he wrote after that before he died either or something to read if you think you're a romantic read either or from Kierkegaard self is most important Kierkegaard is doing this in the early 1800s right around when Nietzsche's doing it 1832 <clears throat> they never talked Hegel was around GWF Hegel Hegel was around at that time too in Germany where Nietzsche was, and Nietzsche kind of Schopenhauer's student, Schopenhauer scorned Hegel, so did Nietzsche. And that's kind of cool in a way when you think of it, because Hegel was big, big deal, you know, economics, outside of philosophy. And, uh, and I love Hegel's work, don't get me wrong. Nonetheless, uh, Nietzsche says it the best, coming off Schopenhauer, the world is a will to power and nothing more. The world is a will and representation. Schopenhauer tells us the world is nothing but will and representation. The world is will and representation. Two volumes again from Schopenhauer. A lot of pages there too. What do they tell us? Well, the self is the highest, just like Kierkegaard said. The self is higher than anything on the planet and because we have rationality, stewards of nature, and we are the ones to take care of all the other animals, plants, and rocks right down to the sand. We have responsibility to each other and every other living thing to try to be virtuous and work within the group as best we can from time to time. Now, reality becomes it, though, as I always say. Finding self and knowing self is something you do, and because your soul wants to leave your body all the time, it will drift away from you. And it's sort of like I said the other day, jokingly, where does your spirit go when it's not in your body? Well, it's more like, where does your spirit go when it's not actively in your body? Like when you're so tired, you go to sleep. Well, your spirit's still in there. That's why you're dreaming. There is a thing, too, called lucid dreaming, where you can control your dreams. It's also known as dream control. And transcendental meditation, known as TM, is one way to bring dream control to the living world. You have to know yourself and what you're capable of doing just with your own mind and body and breathing and walking and swimming and thinking. Thinking about thinking. Sometimes you gotta have a cigarette. <laughs> It's the way it is. I'm not really a big smoker. I know all my friends out there don't smoke, Jim. Well, you know, whatever. Do the best you can. Reality is, I appreciate that though. Nonetheless, but don't say it too often, it makes me feel insecure. <laughs> Nonetheless, what does it mean? Self is more important than the group. Religion is greatly positive and good for us. But there are times when religion itself can obscure God. We know language obscures life, so poetry and music are the only true things in life, other than love itself, which is a feeling that can't be put into words all the way. It has to be shown. Thankfully, that happens on Saturday night, so everybody's real happy today, right? Oh, yeah. Nonetheless, you got you to gotta get together on Saturday night with somebody you love and call Tom's Pizza. Yeah, a little advertisement. 698-5666 right? West Milton. 
Nonetheless, what does it all mean for the fourth time? Well, you know it from listening to me talk. It's just a reminder here at the end of the year that will, humanness, yourself, your spirit, as you acknowledge it as yourself, when you reflect doubly on soul, when you reflect doubly internally and think about thinking while you're thinking about thinking on levels removed from the group, as Nietzsche said, you can be alone in a room of 10,000. And Nietzsche always would agree that to be, a, be able to be alone in a room of 10,000 is where you want to be. And I totally get that. I love people. We all love each other. We try to do our best. But the reality is, till you really know yourself, you can't help anyone else. It's best to find it when you're young, but it takes continued rediscovery, if not continuing education, to continue to find out who you are with yourself. Shameless individual psychoanalysis. Philosophical style. Sounds like something that, I don't know, Benny Hanna. Jesus Miller. Taberside cooking. Tommy, maybe we should go to Benny Hanna. Is there one around? Probably a better place than that. Might be your kitchen, man. Nonetheless, New Year's Eve approaches tomorrow. Be careful. If you're going to drink, give your keys to someone else. Don't drive or throw them on the roof or something. In the morning, don't get up on a ladder too early. We don't want to have to care fly you the hell out of here. I hope you all have a good night tonight. Happy Sunday. Peace, y'all.